hi guys welcome to my channel today i have for you this beautiful christmas ornament and uh be showing you how to make it so i hope you like it please if you try it can you take a picture and send it to me so i know that some of you guys are actually working on uh, christmas ornaments and um it looks like this it's for, it's a whole piece so we don't have to splice it in a half it's really easy to make i uh, just do the two rows one to one side the other one to the other side um so it's not that big of a deal just start with so many double crochet right here but um it still should be really easy to make so let's start it you start with the slip knot and we chain eight Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Closing the circle. One, two, three, four. First double crochet. And now we have to make 15 of them or 14 more so all together 15 so we have two three four and 15 okay pull it a little bit and V closing one two three on the top of the first DC okay looks like this so far so now one two three for first dc and we making another one in the same spot so before we have 15 double crochet in the circle now we're going to have 30 of them so first one two now we are in the second So we're making another one in the same spot. One and two in the same spot. So 
but by the end we get to the <clears throat> end of the circle we should have 30 double crochet I'm not really sure how many I made but um, I'll be turning my work around okay should be probably enough okay so we end up closing the circle on the top of the first DC so now you chain three again and one for the space and we're going into the next double crochet chain one and next double crochet chain one so we're still ending up with the 30 of them like that chain one and double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double and I'm just gonna finish it up to the end so I can turn my work around And one more. Okay. So now I'm turning my work around. Okay, so you chain three. Now when you're finishing up the circle and you do a double crochet between the two, two of them and double crochet on the top of the one below and now between and one below one between below so we're filling it up a little more so now it's between and uh, right here one between Okay, almost done. I wasn't sure how many of that because I wasn't thinking I need for the design. So 
So I'm just making it a little more so I finish it up, you know, this my half circle or not. It doesn't really matter. But you do have to finish up your circle. So anyway, um, so far it's look like this. Now I'm gonna turn it around on the wrong side. But you ending up on the top of this double crochet. So what you do, you chain four. And right now we putting a yarn over twice and we make four of this in the same spot. So two, three, yarn over twice and four. You chain three, one, two, three. Yarn over twice, and you do another another one in the same spot. Okay, so it look like this. Yarn over twice. And you count one, two, three, four, and in the fifth one, we connect this down here. And now we do um, three more triple or uh, um, I'm not even sure how you call this. Okay, well, I'm not gonna give the name. You just make sure you yarn over twice. And I'm not doing it good in here. Okay. So we have four, okay, chain three. Yarn over twice, and in the same spot, you do another one. Once, twice, and three times. Now chain two. One, two, three, four, five. And you do the same thing. I'm probably gonna do one more. Two, three, four, one, two, three, and do one more time. So I, I think the three would be enough. So when you completing the circle, you hook it up in the fourth chain right here. So you kind of a slip stitch in the middle of this and you again do four Um, and three extra because now uh, what am I doing again I m messed it up didn't I one two three four you just chain four I was thinking a different way and you make four in this spot, two, 
it off. Three. And four. Because now they tur turning the fourth of this now turning to the opposite direction. So now chain three. And uh, one more of this. <clears throat> so now it's going to this direction. So okay, turn twice. And you're getting into this spot. Okay. And making four right here. Two. Three. And four. One, two, three. One more right here. Three and whoops, yarn over twice. And you're getting it in here. Okay. So you're going to the left and then you're going to the right. And you always work in this triangle upside down, not in this one, but in this. So if you ending up row, row right here and you finishing up the circle and you slip stitch right here, you have to slip stitch four times to get in this area and then you do the same thing again so you slip stitch in here you make four of this and you just keep on going and when you ending up your row with this then you know that you automatically go in here and do the, the um the same thing so you need to make five of this row so look like this one two three four five actually i make six but um, it's called for five rows. You can make six. I'm six. I'm really don't, you know, matter. But um, you finishing up your five or six row. It depends, you know, what you're choosing. You get into this point, and you chain three. And you're making double crochet. So you're making five double crochets right here. And 
then you jump over and make five double crochet right here. jump into this section and do five double crochet. So you should look like this. So it's the part right here and now we're doing with the one stitch between so I'm turning it over one two three because now we um short shortening it up so we jump over one and make the double crochet in the second one. Jump over one, making double crochet the second one. Jump over one, go in the next. Because we need to make the circle smaller. So it looks like this. Jump over one, go in the next, and we shorten up. Like that. So, so far it looks like this. Now the next step, yeah, we're jumping it over again. So you make chain three and we do the same thing again. Jumping over. Jumping over and jumping over. And over. So it looks like this. And you can tell that my circle getting smaller and smaller. So when we turn around and I don't have much to show, but right now we're going to make a half double crochet, which is gonna make that circle even smaller. So we just chain two and I won't be able to show you that much of it, but okay, then you go in the next one. You just make half a next one make half so you have a three um, stitches on the hook and now you take them through and that's how you go all around the circle and you're just working it till you get smaller and smaller I'm going to this part again because I'm thinking that I probably didn't explain correctly how to make it because I just did it uh, the same thing twice and it happens because I turned my work around. So I'm just gonna go right here. 
which you usually be starting the second row around. So I skipped this part. And remember when I was just saying it, that you slip stitch uh, four times. I'm probably just gonna do three times or four times to the circle. So you would get right here. Okay. And the, at this point, You do one, two, three, four, plus three. And you do this part first. Okay. Remember like before we did this part first and then a triangle right there. Now you start starting with the triangle and do the fourth parts. And I know it's kind of a confusing because even me, when I was going one way and then I needed to do the second row, I got confused because I just want to do it the same way. But, um, you, you, that's how you turning those triplets from left to right. See, like before we had to have them to the left, now I have them to the right. So um, I'm hoping <laughs> that it's not confusing. that, you know, it's going to be easy for you to make it. Cause that's exactly, you know, like you jump from here, straight right here. And then you just do three and do again. That triangle first, you always have to have those triangle between your work. And now you do the <clears throat> fourth one, four right here. Um, it, it, if you have a problem with that, please let me know and I'm going to try to explain it again. Um, but I'm hoping that it should be okay right now for you. Like you just, when you in the end, you just keep you know, skipping some of the stitches so it the circle would be smaller and smaller. But um, I thought it's a really beautiful Christmas ball. That's why I brought it to you. Hopefully you like it. Um, tomorrow, I'll be showing you how to make this one. Whoops. Well, I guess it did not dry completely, but um, that, that's what I have for tomorrow. It's, it has a really beautiful the top and then you just, oops, um, this I have to cut it. And then you have, um, uh, we would be splicing two halves together. So I probably have to redo it. See that sugar, it dries, um, you know, long time. So it, it's, <laughs> it's not done. <laughs> I shouldn't get that uh, balloon off, but I did really want to show you how it look like, that there is a something to look forward for tomorrow. It's gonna be really, really easy to make. So that's what it is. Thank you for watching. Look how much mess of the sugar I'm making here. But anyway, I'm so enthusiastic with the so many subscribers I've been getting this month. I'm, I'm hoping it's going to continue and um, 
I try to bring you as much um, new designs before Christmas as I possibly can. Uh, it's not that easy, it takes forever, and I'm sure if you're working on it, you'll know that too. But I will try. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.